Well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Now for today's video I have such an exciting one because I am going to be testing all of the new iHeart Revolution Heartbreakers collection. I'm super excited for you to see this video. Just to let you know, the products that I will be testing are the new uh, Radiance Loose Powder. I've got two different highlighters that I test, and of course, I had to pick up all three of the eyeshadow palettes for you to test because I've had such good experience with these and I wanted to just test them all for you and let you know my thoughts and opinions. So if you'd like to see what I thought of all the products that I tested today, then please keep watching. Okay, I know I look a bit crazy right now. I'm actually in the middle of another video as well. I'm just testing out the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac glow like hydrator that's it hydrator uh, foundation and i've also just put some concealer on as well which is the xx revolution concealer because the first product in this range or the new range should i say that we actually have to test is the radiance powder i'm gonna be super glowy in this video because obviously this foundation is super glowy as well but that does not matter um so yeah the first product we're trying is this new radiance powder if i can open here we go um, so this is six pounds and as we discussed in my haul video uh, half of the product is actually not in there and then i've actually further discovered that when people ask for a replacement to be sent out they actually just send you the exact same thing so i definitely think they're just selling you half of a pot just because they can basically and not because you know they're selling you a bargain they're only selling you half the product in the pot but hey ho um this is the packaging um i haven't even opened this yet like that would help so much if i opened it wouldn't it mm. oh it smells nice mm, okay right i'm gonna i'm gonna tap some of it in the pot it's not like a smooth looking powder uh it's got a bit of a different formula to it so we're definitely gonna put this to the test and see how it performs on my skin i'm very intrigued i actually love the coconut baking powder um so i'm gonna see how this compares i've just coated it on my brush and let's try this right so this is the powder all on i've all set my face now and as you can see i am very clearly quite glowy which is good that is exactly what the product is supposed to do now because i have such a glowy foundation underneath i am just tapping my skin and i do still feel a little bit tacky but i most definitely coated my face in powder so I feel like this product would be good for people who have more of like a normal to dry skin. Um, of course, if you like that Radiance look, then definitely try it. I mean, it does 100% make your skin look more glowy. So if you have more of like an oily to combination skin type like me, I probably would advise using a more matte foundation as a base and then putting a glowy powder over the top. This might be a good way of getting that radiant look without actually putting a glowy foundation on underneath. Um, this is really pretty. I just think the combination of the like glowy foundation and the powder, it's just not like setting well on my skin because I'm using two glowy products. Whereas I feel like if I used a matte foundation underneath, it would definitely set a little bit better. The feel of it is definitely different to their usual loose powders. So there are definitely completely different formulas. Do I prefer this to the normal like coconut baking powder and those baking powders? Absolutely not. For one thing, you actually get double the product of this for even cheaper. I think they're five pounds and you get like 22 grams of loose powder in them. This will be specifically for anyone who actually likes the like more glowy radiant powders. But for people that do like those powders, it 100% works and it looks beautiful on the skin. I cannot say it doesn't because it does make your skin look really nice 
and dewy. Now that I've used my powder, obviously the next products to try are my highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze, contour and blush off of camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I look a little bit more alive now. So for my bronzer, I use the iHeart Revolution Co Coconut Coffee Bronzer in Latte. I used my uh, iHeart Revolution oops, contour kit in the shade Fair. And I used my Soft Shimmer Blusher in the shade Peach. And also, sorry, my Avocado Brow Gel to fill in my brows a little bit. And now we can move on to these babies. I am so excited. I'm obviously going to use one on one side and one on the other. And then I'll pick whichever one for the rest of my face. I have two of them. They do also have another one. Um, I have Golden and Divine. And they also have a beautiful, like, more bronzy highlighter for a more deeper skin tone which is amazing but I picked up these two and let's have a look at them so this one is golden and I did actually pick up this one first but how pretty is this I'm so excited to put it on my cheekbones um, these are six pounds each um, which is standard for their heartbreaker stuff they actually already have heartbreakers highlighters so I'm surprised they bought out more of them but I love highlighters, so I'm here for it. And then this is the shade Divine, which is more of the pinky highlight. So let's test these out. So I'm going to put Divine on this side. I'm going to try this one first. Because this is the lighter one, and I know that's going to work for me anyway. So I thought I'd put it on this side. So I'm just picking up a lot of the product. There's actually not really any fallout. And then I'm going to tap it off. And then let's see how big and did this is. Wow, okay, that is most definitely a pink highlighter. So if you like your pink highlighters, you're going to love this. It does like properly reflect pink. Sometimes they're really icy with a little bit of pink reflect, um, but this is like a pure pink highlighter. So if you love them, you're going to love these. I must say, I think I prefer this to the old Heartbreaker highlighters. I don't know why, I just have a feeling that I prefer this formula to the other one i feel like it looks better than the old one as well i feel like it's definitely just like more reflective i don't know um and i'm going to take a different highlight brush i'm going to take this shade this might be too dark for me however we are going to try it anyway okay and this is 100 a more yellowy goldy highlighter so out of the two definitely prefer this one just because I feel like it suits my skin tone a little bit more this one does look nice but I don't know I feel like it's maybe a little bit too gold for my skin I feel like I'd be able to get away with it because I feel like it's not like proper in your face yellow gold but because of the yellowness, I feel like I can slightly see a cast. But then again, I feel like I can slightly see a cast with this one as well. So I think it's just down to your preference in which kind of shade of highlighter you like the most. I'm so sorry about my foundation lips. Um, they're so dry, so everything literally clings to them. Um, but yeah, the highlighters are nice. I did build them up in two layers to get them to this like super extra blinding highlighter um, because that's just personally how I like my highlighters to be. Um, out of the two, I definitely prefer this one. So I'm gonna put this all over my skin, but this is most definitely beautiful. It would actually go better on a more like medium skin tone. It would look stunning. Um, but yeah, they are really nice. They're six pounds, so they're super affordable. If you're looking for some more affordable highlighters, then these are definitely ones to check out. Okay, so the last products to try are, of course, the main star of the show, the eyeshadow palette. So we have three new Heartbreakers palettes to play with. I'm so excited. I love these palettes. They're so flipping good for the price. They're literally a fiver. And all of the ones I've tested so far, and I have tested all of them, are really good quality for the price. So firstly, we have Joy, which is the yellow one. And this is what it looks like. It is obviously like a yellow base palette. So we have a yellow, a couple of oranges and browns in here with some stunning golds. We next have another pink palette. There is, I think, a couple of other pink palettes. 
That is the first yellow one though, if I remember rightly. Um, this is Candy Floss, which does have that pop of yellow in here as well, but it has those beautiful matte pinks. What I love about this palette and the other palettes is there's a lot, hello, <laughs> is that there's a lot of mattes in these palettes. Previously, there haven't been a lot, but now there's loads. And lastly, we have the, sh the shade, the palette Plush. And this one is actually all matte. But like, look how gorgeous this is. Like, I feel like all three of these palettes... What am I doing? I just flip that around the other way. I feel like all three of these, like, complement each other. Their shades in all three of them work well together. And that is why I'm going to be using all three palettes for this look. I do do that normally. I did, for the first round, do individual videos. But I've done a lot of videos where I've actually tested out and reviewed all of the collection at once and they seem to do really well. So I hope this video is super helpful for you in picking which palettes you like and stuff. I have already primed my eyes, if you didn't notice. I used my uh, Revolution Eye Base as per usual. I've just had a look. The entire range of products I'm testing today are cruelty free and vegan, if you are wondering. I am gonna quickly insert some swatching clips so you can have a look at what the swatches look like and then we can get into the eye look. Firstly, I'm going to take Candy Floss and I'm going to take this beautiful baby pink shade here. It, that is literally like my favourite colour of pink. It's like a bubble cum pink. I absolutely love it. There's only like a li little bit of fallout, not a lot, and it seemed to have picked up well on the brush. Where put my mirror? Here we go. Uh, it's definitely picked up well on the brush. And what I'm going to do with that shade is I'm just going to apply it to my crease. I'm not going to take it too high either. Okay, and this is the crease shade on, and I'm sorry, but for a £5 palette, that is so, so good. I feel like I, I literally can't say a bad word about it because the palette is so damn cheap. But, I mean, just like, look how pigmented this pink is. In such a cheap eyeshadow palette, it's incredible. I'm going to go in to plush, and I'm going to take this middle shade here, which is like a muted pink. Honestly, this this palette is absolutely stunning, like the perfect everyday shade. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that um, to just diffuse the edges of that because I want to go in with a yellow at the top. Um, so I'm just going to slightly, slightly blend that at the very top of where the pink is. And then we're going to go into Joy and we're going to take this yellow in the palette here. And what I'm going to do with that, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm then going to blend this soft shade here. Ever so slightly. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. I don't want to put too much pressure down. Oh, I'm getting like strawberry lemonade vibes. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to go in with plush again and I'm going to take this like brown transition-y shade here and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to basically put that on my inner and outer corners. I'm just going to go in with my original blush, blush brush that I used to blend the pink together and I'm just gonna just blend that in ever so slightly. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think of this look. I don't know if that's blended very well, but I, try, I don't wanna go too mental with the yellow. I am actually going to go back in with the pink palette and I want to use this shimmer shade here. Now, at first glance, these actually look like glitters, but I can confirm they are like shimmer shades. So I'm going to take this light baby pink one here. Okay, I'm going to take this on a brush. I'm going to 
Mm, yeah, no, I don't think it's going to pick up well on a brush at all. It's a very crumbly formula. Oh my god, yeah, very crumbly. Like, look at this. Look how crumbly that is. It's going to be very fallouty as well. Okay, so that is the shimmer shade on 100% crumbly fallout e applies much better with your finger actually so maybe instead of trying a brush like i did just go straight in with your finger and apply it on the lid but again for five pounds it works a treat and i didn't even wet the shimmer and it still looks really nice and reflective so i absolutely love that shade for my lower lash line i'm gonna go back in with this plush palette and i'm gonna take this brown shade down here this palette, guys, is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. Just especially if you just want an easy, cheap palette to, like, shove in your handbag or just do an everyday look with. I just feel like it's so good. And lastly, for my inner corner and brow bone, I need something to go well with that yellow matte. So, of course, I'm going to go back in with the Joy palette. And I'm going to take this gorgeous shimmer here. Obviously, it's going to be the same formula as the pink one, but we will make it work, don't worry. So that's the shimmer on the inner corner and brow bone. What I will say about these palettes this time around is that I feel like the shimmers are a slightly different formula. I feel like they're a lot more crumbly than they usually are. Um, if I remember rightly, I don't think the other palettes have that much of a crumbly shimmer formula. Um, but they definitely still work because like look at my inner corner and brow bone like they look super blinding So they just require a little bit more work with them and then you get these beautiful shimmer So this is my eye look complete I'm now going to hop off camera because we've actually tested all of the products now I'm going to do my mascara and my lips and then I'll come back and I'll do a full-on like overall My thoughts and opinions on the collection and then we can round off this video excuse me so be right back okay guys and this is my completed look so for my mascara i had to bring this back for this video this is the um i Heart revolution chocolate dipped mascara this now that i've tried the new 5d mascara is actually very similar to that so if you don't want to quite spend is it like nine eight nine pounds on that definitely try this this is only a fiver and it's so so good so i thought i'd stick with the mascara look today i hope you don't mind and my lips um i don't think necessarily go with this eye look but hey ho um i've got the doll beauty lip liner on in the shade boy bye and then i've lost the lid for it but i've got the i Hot revolution lipstick in the shade cookie dough and this is my completed look so let me know down below what you think of the makeup that i tested from today's video my favorite part is definitely the eyeshadow palettes they just kill it every single time for the price you literally cannot get better eyeshadow palettes like seriously they are such good quality for how cheap they are but like a fiver for these beautiful beautiful palettes i must say this one is probably my favorite one out of the three that they've newly released just because it's probably the first palette they've done like this all the rest of them are very like colorful and bright whereas this one they finally come out with like a neutral five pound palette and i'm so happy about this i know there's no shimmers in here but I would rather all matte than like most shimmers, if that makes sense. I could always go into another palette like I did today and use a shimmer from that. So this is my, this one's probably my favourite. I do like these. The shimmer formula has definitely changed, but you can just use your finger and they're just as good. The radiance powder is probably not my favourite thing, just based on personal preference i obviously prefer a matte powder because i know that's going to make my makeup last a bit longer but don't get me wrong if i ever want to go for the more glowy look i'll definitely use a matte foundation underneath and then use that powder on top to set my base but also at the same time give me that more glowy look so definitely recommend that powder if you like that sort of look as well i'm not happy about the fact that it's got half the product in the container and it's like one pound more expensive than their normal loose powders i don't understand that personally but hey ho um, and the highlighters were really nice i mean look how blinding they are 
absolutely love them and um, I definitely prefer divine like if you've got a pale skin tone definitely opt for this one this one definitely light to medium i'd say i feel like this might be a little bit too yellow for me but nevertheless the formula is really nice i think you just need to build it maybe twice just to get it this blinding but for, again for six pounds you know it's super affordable so i don't mind at all and that is pretty much going to round up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Let me know down below what was your favourite product that I tested out today. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.